Today, we're gonna to be talking about neck and shoulder pain, those knots you get right here in the tops of the shoulders. I call it baby T-Rex syndrome because when we have that shoulder pain, we tend to have shortened pecs, hunched shoulders, slightly rounded thoracic spine, and we're walking around like a little baby T-Rex. And I am going to show you two phenomenal ways to get rid of that pain today. But before we dive in, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that each week when we release our fun and fresh new content, you are one of the first ones to know about it and be hitting that like button for us. So let's dive in. My name is Dr. Brandi Rose Lipscomb and I am a naturopathic doctor at Essential Wellness Clinic here in Arlington, Washington. And I am also the founder of an online pain relief revolution called the Pain Eraser and Rapid Recovery Program, where we outfit our clients with space age technology and teach them exactly how to use it to get the best results. And one of the techniques I'm gonna be teaching you today is one of my favorite techniques that we teach inside our Pain Eraser course. Can't wait to show it to you. But before we get into that technique, we're gonna talk a little bit about what's causing that shoulder pain. So let's take a look at what's causing this shoulder pain. The first thing that I want you to pay attention to, I'm gonna kind of exaggerate this posture so that you understand what's happening here. Most of the time when we have shoulder pain, we're looking a little bit like this. What is happening there? The first thing that is happening is in the diaphragm, in the rib cage, we are getting a shortening of the fascia, of the connective tissue that is here underneath your rib cage. If you can't stick your fingers in underneath your rib cage to at least the, 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 um, the first part of the finger digit, you wanna be able to get in there about an inch or so to be able to release that. And if that's really tight and really tender, then the diaphragm area, the connective tissue right underneath your rib margin is where we need to start the release pattern. And so typically I will have someone kind of dig in there a little bit and then take a deep breath in to lengthen the diaphragm down. And while you're doing that, sort of arching the back and stretching backwards and then come back and do it on the other side, dig in, and you're gonna hold that down, kind of pressing down, so you're digging in, and stretching back and feeling that connective tissue stretch and hold it there, and release it. Then you're gonna dig in again, kind of push that in, and then breathe in, arch back, and really hold that tension with your, your fingers, that tension pull going downward in order to start to release that diaphragm a little bit. If that is way too much for you, you, you could look for someone who is a myofascial release specialist or structural integration specialist, or someone who does heller work or rolfing. Uh, they're all um, really well versed in how to release that fascia in the diaphragm. So once we release, the diaphragm, we get the ribs up, but you're still in this situation right here, right? And so the next thing that needs to be released is our pectoral muscles, the muscles that come all the way from this costal ridge of your ribs, all the way up through the chest to the shoulders, to the, um, to the humeral head up here. And so we need to release those pecs next. So the best ways to release our pecs, one is to simply put your hand against the wall and lower is fine. It doesn't need to be up high. Put your hand against the wall and then work on turning your body away from that shoulder a little bit and you should start to feel that release here in the upper part of the shoulder. That's a really good stretch and holding that you want to be able to hold this stretch for a full two minutes in order to get, get the physiological benefit out of it. That's a pretty long time, so you don't want to be stretching too hard. You want to be nice and comfortable while you're doing it. And make sure you get the other side as well. You've always got to do on the other side what you've done to one side. The next thing you can do is grasp your hands behind your back 
and roll your shoulders back and bring your arms up a little bit. This is a great stretch to work on. Uh, we learned this one in yoga. It's a great stretch to work out the, the shoulders and really work on releasing those, those pecs a little bit. So we've released the diaphragm. We've released the pectoral muscles. Next up is our shoulders. In order to get our shoulders in the right place, remember our posture is that kind of hunched forward. Shoulders need to go up, back, and down. Up to the ears, back as far as they can, and down. Up, back, down. And do that about 25 times in a row. 25 reps of up, back, downs to get those shoulders back where they need to be. Once you're done with that, that's when we can actually dive in to the area that you thought was causing the pain in the first place, the actual neck. And to do that, one of my favorite stretches is to simply side bend the neck, side bend ear towards shoulder on one side, and then reach around with the opposite hand, grab the opposite arm, and just sort of give it a little inferior traction, a little pull downward. That's gonna increase that stretch, and you can just hold on there for a good, another for a good 20, 30 seconds, full two minutes if you can, and then come to the other side, ear to shoulder, grab that arm, pull it down, and get a nice stretch of all of those scalene muscles here in the neck. You can also just go ear to shoulder, back a little bit, ear to shoulder, forward, ear to shoulder, forward, and, and work through like that. And then the last thing that we want to release after all of that are these uh, the rhomboids that are kind of holding the scapula in place. So the best stretch for that, and this isn't always the easiest thing, but you can at least move towards this pose and you can get there eventually, or you can get somewhere close to it where you're feeling a stretch. It is the, um, the upper half of eagle pose in yoga where you simply cross your arms and you wanna be able to cross them above the elbows if you can and then bring them both up and then twist them one more time and bind them together. And once you're here, you wanna act like there is a string at the bottom of this elbow pulling it out and jutting it out in, in front of you, like out away from you. So you bring your shoulders together and you push those elbows out towards the ground. It is an amazing release for the back of the shoulders. Oh my goodness sakes. And you definitely need to switch sides and do this again on the opposite side. And take two minutes to do this stretch here. Once that's done, give your shoulders a few more up, back, down rolls, and I'm willing to bet that you're going to feel a lot better. So we have that sequence that has to go in that order. Diaphragm, then pecs, then shoulders, the neck, and then the ba the rhomboids, the, the back of the neck. If we release in that order, everything gets a much better, uh, a much better release. Um, I teach my clients something quite similar in the Pain Eraser program, except they use this device and this wand. And what is really neat about it is this wand is sending the same exact signal that our device sends from the device head. And we can actually dig in on the skin. We can kind of dig into that rib cage with the wand and really get a nice, release of the diaphragm that way. And then we can work our way up through the pecs, through the shoulders, on the skin, releasing up through those, those pectorals and all the tight areas that we have in our pecs up in here, releasing that into the humerus, into this arm, this arm bone here. And uh, the same thing for the other side. And we can then do something pretty phenomenal. This technique is called shrug it off. And this is what I wanted to show you today. So we have this little trigger point in the upper trap. The trapezius is that muscle that, that when you, when you uh, bring your shoulder up, it's that muscle that you can kind of get a hold of there. So right there is your, your upper trap or trapezius. 
And right in the center of the trapezius, right where my finger is, is a trigger point. That when we hit it with the right amount of energy and, and frequency, we'll get that signal traveling up through the neck into all of the um, the cervical paraspinal muscles that come up into your occiput and down into this around the scapula and down into the shoulder and we will get this pretty amazing involuntary contraction of all of those muscles and i wanted to demo that for you today so we have four different modes in our device that we use in the Pain Eraser program. Three of them have modulating waveform frequencies uh, with high frequencies, low frequencies, and medium range. And then one of our settings is just a straight, it's the same frequency at all times. And I like to start with that frequency in order to get this effect. So we put the wand right on the neck and simply start turning up the energy on the device and you'll hear it first and then you start to feel it kind of come into the neck and I like to use the opposite hand for this so give me just one second so that my arm is nice and free and I'm going to come in here and I'm not doing that myself and release it release one ball so that so that you don't stay contracted and then we put that back back on that spot and there's a nice gentle contraction hold that for about three seconds and then let it go bring that up and it gives a nice contraction for those muscles oh and I let the wand go to let it go and you can play with the kind of different different spots of, of different spots will cause different sensations like lower down on the upper trap we tend to get a little bit more of the the shoulder retraction and then uh, upper higher on the neck we tend to get a little bit more of the neck itself but you get this nice whew, uh, contraction of those muscles and it'll release oh all of that tension in the neck and shoulder is gone that actually can have those when we pull down those paraspinal muscles it kind of adjusts the occiput it'll help actually improve the alignment of the neck and then of course we have to come over and do the opposite side and so i'm a little bit lower i'm getting more shoulder I'm getting the neck and shoulder. Whew. Nice contraction. Oh. Oh. So that is an amazing kind of a workout and release for all of these neck and shoulder muscles. Um, I had chronic neck and shoulder pain for 14 years in those muscles from medical school and studying in, in undergraduate and I spent a road trip once simply giving myself the shrug it off technique um, for, you know, 20 minutes at a time, three or four times through the day. And I've literally never again had that pain in my neck and shoulders. I know what you're thinking and you're right. You absolutely do have to try this. So if you want to find out a little bit more about how to qualify and get into the pain eraser program and join us on the inside where we're having so much fun, click on on see more and then in the description you'll find the link to the my pain eraser and rapid recovery program webinar it is a kind of a complicated program and process so we created an entire webinar to teach you all about it so you register for the webinar you get to watch it and if you're like yes i'm in you book a call we walk you through the qualifications we go through a few more steps and pretty soon voila you and i are talking on the back end and getting an individual treatment plan set up so that you get the best uh, benefit out of this technology. And if you want to see a little bit about how we treat knees inside the program, you can click on this video next if you have a bone-on-bone -bone knee issue. And if you're interested in just learning more about the basic science and how this type of technology totally outperforms a traditional TENS unit, click on this video next. As always, we thank you so much for watching. Enjoy having you here, and we can't wait to see you next time.